So this just popped right off, but I stuck a screw back in the valve body assembly. Um, and this is what it looks like. So I can take this out. And this is a short one that holds the um, oil lube pipe. And that is why we have a video. Okay, then I need to remove eight check balls. Now we're going to remove the eight check balls. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and here is number eight. Okay, we have located the TCC solenoid screen location. And it is right in here. And I'm not sure what it looks like because it's full of transmission fluid. I'm going to soak that up. Let's see if we can't figure out how to take it out because it doesn't tell you how. Okay, I have found the TCC solenoid screen and uh, it has a lip on it so I'm just going to flip it from the back and push it out like that. That is what it looks like. Very nice. And I have a little spot for the TCC solenoid right. screen. Now we've removed the um, intermediate servo assembly from the case bore, which is here. And it looks like it just pulls out, and it does, and it's got, these are three separate pieces, looks like, and then there's a spring, and it's all shiny bronze metallic, and there's nothing else in there. We removed six retaining bolts for the reverse servo cover and remo removed reverse servo color. So that looks like a 10. It's good because I got my 10 all set up. Ah, and it's on there tight. Doesn't help that I'm sliding on the floor.
This might spring a bit because I think there's a spring in here. Yep, it's trying to push up. Not too bad. And remove the cover. Looks like there's a gasket on here. Reverse servo cover and a gasket with lots of pretty metal. It would be really nice if it was art. Not so nice in my transmission. Okay, let's see. We can stop it. Okay, so I've got to remove this retaining clip and it slides out that way so I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and hold this against there while pressing pressure on it because it's got a spring and I'm going to tap it and try and do it like that Here's what that retaining thing looks like. You got to add. I need to uh, keep track of it. Okay, I have just removed this little retaining clip for the reverse servo assembly and I need to remove the reverse servo assembly and the one to two accumulator and there's a bunch of stuff in here so um, there's springs and stuff okay so we just had a little washer that goes on the top fly out so that goes on there and this is full of gunk. So, let's see if all this just comes out. And it does. So we've got that washer. And we have a big spring around a little spring. Around a metal post with a, another kind of washer thing that goes on top of it. So post that thing, little spring, big spring, washer, and all of that goes like this. nothing else in there. Okay. Now we've got to remove two retaining bolts for parking pole bracket which are over here and remove parking pole bracket but do not remove parking linkage from the case unless damaged. And it
does not look damaged to me. But I took some close-up pictures and I'll send them to someone and see if I'm right. There's the parking pole bracket and the two bolts are the same size and those are 13 millimeter.